We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one, a place where we could live, a log cabin on the outskirts of a forest, or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They're just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Salantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us, in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> 
Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot. No matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well... What do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. 
Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Then, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Christ have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse, without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. And nobody even thought you could live outside. place fit for a king I must say oh, what do you think of this workbench eh everything is within reach yet there's so much space left most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen so thank you we'll have to keep pitching in like this too Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder it'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father, he's dead, isn't he? Nastya is dead. He is. Well, what did you expect? Hey, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> Artyom did most of the work! 
<laughs> that he did, yeah, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artem get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was kind of close. Uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. He all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A trick. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Ah, uh, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. Some good stuff. Uh, guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Personally, I want to come back and tell Sveta of my adventures. So that she'd look at me with her huge gray eyes without blinking and keep saying, You're such a hero, darling. <laughs> so you're expecting heroics and scars. With the Ark! And all thanks to Dogger, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy me? Over. Yes, yes. Hey, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know... The situation is dire, and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Mitchell, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. 
A squad! Ah, I see. Well, this is great! Great! Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. Okay, just a moment, I have to check. K6 uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters in reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor. Thank you. Just a few words more, though. What is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking! Oh, the Minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker. The final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Safe zone and sit tight there. We'll do that right now. 
Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. The odd guys used to have three and five hundred on stool. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. No, 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 this is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait. Look. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. nothing. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. 
I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. You'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of I'll tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. You understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But oh, I'll get you ready! Burn this stuff! Two of us! Oh, long time so I'll give it some dirty bones, remain! Now we'll be fought again! Good.
six. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Weak. Now I know it. Fort.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Please! Yes, yes! Just, just don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you! There was an explosion. Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. <sighs> this whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Zelantius with his damn fanatics. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do Probably now? damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision together. Did you get everything you could, Idris? We're leaving! One moment, I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that. The world down is really good. My concern is what is next time it happens. You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allowed to me. With that guy over there. I'm going to dash to you. <laughs> that I understand.
about to